What's going on everyone? Sneaky Mofo here, back with another tutorial for you related to Cheat Engine, but could be used in a more general sense too. Basically what I wanted to show you is how to quickly find information on the Cheat Engine forum on something that you are interested in learning about. This is how I uh, sort of do research, if you will. All right, so the first thing you want to do is go to Google and then type in the word site and then put a colon after it and then type in cheatengine.org. Now this is gonna make uh, the Google's results show you only results from this site, from cheatengine.org. Then what you wanna do is type what you wanna learn about. So let's say you wanna learn to do like a no clip hack or something like that. So then you provision for, you know, maybe variations of no clip. So one word, no clip, and then you could say or. Uh, the pipe is or. And then in quotes, you could say no clip, something like that. So we want to provision for both versions of no clip here. And then uh, hit search. And after that, let me zoom in here. Now you can go through results here. And now this is just the beginning. So this is how you can find threads and things like that related to people talking about, you know, whatever it is that you are interested in learning about. But the next part really is, uh, you know, picking something like uh, this thread here. So we'll pick this thread, and this guy did a noclip script for watchdogs. So I'm wanting to learn about noclip. I want to learn how to create something in Cheat Engine related to that. So what you can get with people uh, is very different. Some things will be a lot easier than other things. So. You know, we'll go ahead and download his script. So I'll save that, and then I'll open it. And now that I have that here, I'm just going to double click on where it says script. I'll drag that into view here. And now I'm going to look through here, and let's say I have watchdogs. I might want to start up watchdogs, enable the script, um, or keep the script disabled and when I start the game up, search for these specific uh, array of byte signatures, if you will. You know, like I would search for this one, copy that, and you could do like uh, array of byte search. You would paste it there, and then, you know, you might have to check this for read and write. And then once you find it, you know, let's say we did a search for, let me just attach to something random here. Firefox, yes. I'm going to search for 000A. Okay, so let's say I just did a search for that particular array. Then you could right click on it and say uh, disassemble this memory region. And then once you do that, you know, you can start looking around in the code and seeing what's related or then you could try to go into the game and try to find your way to that instruction. You know what the instruction is, you know, because you just searched for it. And so then you could go in the game, find it yourself, try to find your way there to see how that person found their way to that particular instruction. You know, so that's like a good learning tool there. And then you could actually go down through the script and read it and try to see what they're doing, you know, noting things like how that particular individual formats their script. Like this guy clearly has a flow to his scripts, you know, instead of just the default template AOB injection or whatever. So, you know, this can help you pick up, you know, better ways of writing your scripts and you're sort of reverse engineering your way to see what they did. You know, this isn't something I recommend for, you know, you steal this person's cheat table and go make a trainer with it or whatever. You know, that's, I don't advocate that at all. This is just one of the ways that I like to learn about certain things. So with that in mind, you know, you go back to your search results and there's a whole bunch of stuff here related to that, you know? So, um, let's say there's something else you wanted to check out, like DBVM. You know, so we've got about DBVM, we've got the Cheat Engine Wiki talking about DBVM, uh, how to load DBVM, blah, blah, blah. You could look at the dates and see if something is more recent. 
and uh, Windows 10, DBVM, you know, and you can sort your results by date. Uh, let's see, search tools, click on this, and you could say past month, past year, past week, whatever. Let's say past month. So here we go. Look, beginner's guide to DBVM. This was posted not that long ago. And, uh, oh, hey, look. <laughs> so, anyway, if there's anything you want to learn about with Cheat Engine, instead of waiting on someone to answer your question or whatever, just try something like this. Site colon cheatengine.org. Type in what you want to learn about and just get going from there. So, and this works great for anything you want to learn. If you've established there's a site that you know there's information on it that you want to pick something up from, you can do the same sort of thing. All right, so anyway, just a little tip there for you, for those of you who are a little more proactive with your research. Uh, try this stuff. And let me know how you fare. So anyway, if you found it useful, give me a thumbs up, and don't forget to subscribe. And I'll talk to you guys in the next video. Take care.